Most helicopters are designed to either carry a lot of cargo at the expense of maneuverability like the Chinook or be quick and nimble while sacrificing armament and transport capabilities, like the Huey. Russian Mi-24 hind multi-mission gunship isn't most helicopters. The Mil Mi-24 is a dual-role helicopter gunship designed as both an attack helicopter and eight troop. The Soviet Union produced more than 2,500 hind variants at the Mil Moscow helicopter plant beginning in 1972 and used them extensively throughout the Soviet war in Afghanistan. The concept of a multi-mission gunship was quite revolutionary at the time of its inception and even today. The Hind has no direct NATO equivalent and is only roughly recreated in the American Sikorsky S-67 Blackhawk. The Hind was built off the older Mi-8 HIP and Mi-14 Hayes helicopters and measures 57 feet long, 21 feet wide, and 21 feet tall. The Hind wasn't built for comfort. It was built for speed. It features a pair of top-mounted Isotov TV3-117 turbo shaft engines, driving a 57-foot-wide, five-blade main rotor with a three-blade on the tail. Its top speed is over 200 mph with a 280-mile range. Early models had the pilot and weapons operator sitting in tandem under a single piece of bulletproof glass. Later upgrades introduced the now iconic double bubble canopy. The hind is heavily fortified against small and medium arms fire, able to shrug off 50 caliber shots even to its rotor blades and withstand 20mm cannon hits thanks to ballistic resistant windscreens and a titanium wrapped cockpit tub. What's more, the cabin interior is overpressurized in the event of a NBC nuclear biological chemical attack. This heavy armor earned the Mi-24 the unofficial nickname, the flying tank, though many Soviet pilots also referred to it as the crocodile, thanks to its camouflage pattern. The Mi-24 didn't just fly around, taking it on the nose, mind you, this is a proper assault chopper, it relies on a 1,470 round 12.7 mm Gatling gun a pair of twin-barrel GSH-30K autocannons, and window-mounted machine guns in the cabin. The hind is also outfitted with a pair of sub-wings that not only provide up to a quarter of the aircraft's lift when traveling at speed, but also provide three attachment points for a variety of external weapons. Depending on whether the mission calls for air support troop insertions, anti-tank operations, or aerial combat, these external stores can include 3M11 Falonga anti-tank missiles, various general-purpose bombs, up to 500 kilograms in weight, and rockets.